Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're checking out the best light stand setup I've ever used. So here in the studio, I light a ton of stuff, whether that be myself or a bunch of product B-roll, constantly dealing with lights, constantly dealing with stands, and I've come up with this system, which is amazing, and I wanted to share it with you. So what's unique about this is we're using a stand and a microphone boom arm to create the ultimate light stand. Now you could use this for more than a light. For instance, in this wider shot over here, you'll notice that I have the same thing set up for my microphone. Because I'm in a smaller space, I really need to maximize um, space. So usually I would run a boom arm off of a C stand, but then you're constantly banging into it because I use this space for more than just myself. I use it for B-roll and other things. So I need to get the microphone out of the way. And with this arm, I can simply grab it and move it around just like that. Um, so I can get it out of the way, move something heavier and bigger in here, bring it back down, quickly position it because sometimes I change my framing, so it's really, really handy. And the same thing with this light setup. So this one in particular is awesome because of the output and how lightweight it is. So let's go through the setup. At the base, we are using an impact rolling stand. Um, this particular one goes up to eight and a half feet. You can also get one that goes up to, I think, 11 and a half feet around 150 bucks. And this is really important to this setup because of the weight. It's very sturdy. You could use a normal C stand. I love how this has casters so I can roll it around very easily. We also have a sandbag on there so we can keep this thing from moving around. As we work our way up, the very next thing is a rapid baby adapter. This essentially takes your light stand 5 8 stud at the top and turns it into either a 3 8 thread or a quarter 20 thread. This particular one is the quarter 20. And from there, things get really exciting. So I have a Rode PSA-1, which is a standard you know, microphone stand. So you'd use it for a desk setup with a microphone for voiceovers, podcasts, really anything. Um, and I have that mounted to the stand. And the way I did that is I took Rode's desk clamp and unscrewed the bottom part. So usually there's a little washer plate that attaches to the bottom of the desk. If you unscrew it all the way, the, the little washer will pop out and you'll be left with, guess what? The perfect hole for a quarter 20 bolt. So I essentially dropped down just the stand clamp and then used a washer and a wing nut to secure it to the rapid baby. So now we can add the arm and at the end of the arm, I have a little ball head here so I can adjust the angle of the light. And now we're getting to the actual light itself. This is a Falcon Eyes 18T um, light panel. It's essentially like a flexible mat. So I did a review on this. You can check that out up here somewhere. And uh, talked about this and several other lights. I have the big model here, the 18. You could also easily get the 12 to work on this. Um, and previous to this, I was actually using a uh, Westcott Flex light. Totally would work as well. So I've mounted the light to the uh, little ball head here. I had to take out the little washer on the ball head and it worked just fine with yet another wing nut on the other side. And the very next thing I did was take all the cables and use the Velcros that come with this arm to attach them. That way they all stay nice and tidy as I adjust the light. So that's the setup. Um, we have power right here. You can either do what I've done here and use a V mount with the controller unit, which lets us easily, um, let me turn this around so you can actually see what I'm doing, easily turn the light on and off as well as dim it and all that good stuff. You could also plug it into the wall. I just love having it wireless. So this whole thing can just roll around the studio wherever I need it. And it has this really handy little uh, tie down or attaches to a light stand. So it just hangs there and it's really nice and simple. So what's so special about this? How could you use it? Well, you could use it like a normal key light, which would be very easy. But the beauty is we essentially have a flexible, like uh, kind of a boom arm that we can do almost anything with. So you can see, you can mount it in multiple different ways. Uh, you could actually use that as a hair light because it has that kind of boom capabilities. You could use it as a high key. So if you want to light right here, normally you'd have to get a C stand out and make a big mess of it. Whereas with this, you can just roll it over there, set it up and you're good to go. 
Um, there is another way that I've been using it a ton, and that is for overhead shots. So let's say I want to film a camera on a tripod and I want the light to come down from above. Again, I would need some kind of boom or else the light stand would be in the shot. But with this, let me reorient things a little bit here. I can simply move the light down. I'll extend the arm here and loosen the ball head. And now I can simply just tighten down the ball head, adjust it just so, and turn the light on. And just like that, we have a beautiful overhead setup. So you can see how versatile this would be. Um, you could also extend it way out. And you can see that it can hold the weight really, really well. So I've been loving this setup and I've been using it a ton over at my B-roll area. So I have a camera over the table and I can just boom this thing in. And the beauty is you don't have to constantly be loosening things and retightening things. You simply just grab the arm and start moving stuff around. Um, now I wouldn't use any light heavier than this. Um, I don't, I can't recall the weight limits for the arm. This seems to work fine. Anything heavier, you might run into some issues, but you could get really creative with this. You could put a camera on here, um, a light, like I have a microphone, a monitor, really there's no, uh, end to how you could set it up. I could also see having a smaller spotlight uh, on top of this, and then you could use that as your rim light. So you could kit out a whole studio with these, and they're pretty easy to pack up too. You can just remove the light, and um, the arm will fold up. You can put a strap around it and pack that with you. So it's crazy, crazy versatile, and I have loved this system here in the studio. Great for YouTubers in a studio environment or if you're traveling, shooting, um, just so much flexibility. And I had to share it with you guys because it has changed so much here in the studio, um, how I'm able to keep making videos quickly. I can set this up as a key. I can roll it over to the table and reset it up as an overhead shot. I can run it over to my office for a live stream. It's just so, so versatile. I love it, use it all the time. If you wanna build one yourself, check the parts in the description. Otherwise, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.